Hello and welcome. In order to fully grasp and understand the following, I highly recommend that you watch my other two videos, How much force is one Newton? and How much energy is one Joule? This is because this series of basics in physics that I'm making has prequels and sequels, concepts that depend on each other and is going to help you understand this one if you understand the previous one. Joules depend on Newtons and Watts, which is the unit of power, the subject of this video depends on Joules. That said, I'm going to wait and I'm going to link the videos here to give, give you time to watch it in case you haven't. And if you have watched them or you already understand the video, let's get to business. This is how much power is one watt. Now, assuming that you understand what joules and newtons are from the previous video or from your knowledge, let's take a look what a watt is before we explain how much is it. Now, after you understand the concepts I spoke about, a watt is exceedingly simple to understand. It is basically how much energy is used over an amount of time or a period of time. Energy is going to be calculated in joules, just like explained in the previous video. That makes the unit to calculate the power joule over second. If you spend one joule of energy in one second, then that yields one watt. Now to make this easier to understand and relate to, let's take a look at the example or analogy. I'm going to play back the example from the joules video and we're going to talk about it. If this guy pushes this cart with one newton force, when he reaches one meter distance, right there, that is one joule of energy, regardless of how long it took him to get there. Notice what I said here in the previous video, regardless of how long it took him to get there. Time didn't matter in the definition of joules. It was just getting the job of moving an object using one newton of force over one meter. If you use one newton force and you complete one meter, no matter how long it took you, that is one joule. Power is simply when time matters and is taken into account. And this can be seen in the expression joule over second, which is a watt. If the guy completes the job of pushing this cart over one meter with one newton force, and this whole process takes one second, then he spent one watt of power. The less time it takes him to accomplish this task, the higher the power. Let me give you an example. If it takes him two seconds to accomplish that same job, we say he only produces half a watt because it took him twice as long to complete the same task. Conversely, if it takes him half a second, then he spent two watts, higher power, and that is more efficient. And that is basically how much one watt is. It is a very simple concept. It is basically energy in joules over time. Keep in mind that all of this is mechanical. A watt can be used for electricity as well. But I think that deserves its own video. I'm going to talk about a watt in electricity terms. It is the same concept, but because the expressions are different, I would like to explain the difference between them in a separate video. Thank you so much for watching again. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. I will see you next time.